Namaste and welcome to yet another journey through ancient India with me the selfish philosopher Did you know that ancient India's weapons technology was highly advanced even by today's standards Yes in this video we are diving deep into history to unveil eight powerful weapons as described in the ancient indian texts and of course i will try to compare these ancient wonders to the cutting edge weapons and missiles of our modern world don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and join me on this enthralling journey so without further delay let's begin sudarshana chakra this divine discus could be used by only one person in the entire universe lord vishnu Sudarshana Chakra is perhaps the most powerful weapon in the cosmos with its power to make even interplanetary spins using advanced rotational dynamics techniques known only to Lord Vishnu. According to Ramayana, Sudarshana Chakra is created by the divine architect Vishwakarma using the energy of powerful constellations. Sudarshana is so powerful that according to Mahabharatam during the 14th day of Kurukshetra war Lord Krishna uses Sudarshana to obscure the sun to create the illusion of sunset The 3000 year old text Rigveda describes Sudarshana as an ancient wheel of time Perhaps during that period it was either at a design stage or a conceptual stage or it is also possible that the chakra acquired such extraordinary velocity that it could expand time if you want to know more about sudarshana chakra refer the 2000 year old text ahirbhudanya samhita which details the origin method power after effects and also the mantras or password to invoke and use numerous weapons or astras brahmastra the apocalyptic brahmastra is a powerful projectile weapon which causes terrible and gigantic flames and countless fire flashes Its advanced version Brahmashirsha can destroy entire civilizations. In Mahabharatam it is said that even a blade of grass will not grow for ages after the Brahmastra is dropped. Created by Lord Brahma, Brahmastra sounds very similar to today's nuclear weapons. There are only a few warriors who possessed the knowledge to invoke the Brahmastra. They are Parashurama, Shri Rama, Bhishma, Drona, Karna, Ashwatthama, Arjuna and Lakshmana. Among them, Ashwatthama did not know to retract the weapon which is a different skill altogether. Vajra The extraordinary weapon possessed by Indra Vajra is indestructible like diamond and causes incineration like lightning and thunderbolt According to Rigveda Vajra is designed by the artisan god Tvashtra who is the proto god form of the Puranic Vishwakarma The Puranas mention that Vajra is designed by Vishwakarma upon Lord Vishnu's instructions using the crystallized backbone of sage Dadichi with its unbelievable power to cause lightning and thunderbolt the creation of Vajra points towards an ancient technology to harness enormous energy from lightning Pramohana an advanced weapon which works on the human psyche or mind pramohana uses a secret technology known only to the gandharvas when used pramohana causes entire armies to collapse into a trance 
on the 6th day of kurukshetra war draupadi's twin brother drishtadyumna uses it against the kauravas which causes them to become unconscious but dronacharya uses its counter weapon the pragnastra which brings back the consciousness of the army the pramohana points towards a sophisticated psychological warfare technique that existed in ancient india vayavyastra this high potential weapon can be obtained directly from vayudeva the wind god or indirectly from the person who already possesses it if it is obtained from vayudeva it can be summoned in its physical form but if it is obtained from a warrior who already possesses it it will be in the form of a mantra astra or a password which can be invoked by incantations with wind energy in its missile head vayavyastra creates high pressure wind or gale capable of wiping out large armies one vayavyastra can bring out pressure which can wipe out more than 10000 foot soldiers on the 14th day of kurukshetra ashwatthama uses vayavyastra to wipe out extensive illusions created by anjana parvan the son of khadotkaja vayavyastra shows how ancient indians could harness and magnify wind energy nagastra this next level weapon uses potent serpentine substances in its head The Nagastra sprays quickly spreading poison on opponent armies causing severe blisters and boils on skin and also rapidly spreading poison in the lungs and blood stream Nagastra is proof that ancient Indians were experts in highly powerful biological warfare Antardhanastra with illusory substances at its core this astra makes people or entire places disappear for a short period of time kubera the king of yakshas and the god of wealth is the possessor of andardhanastra and he gave it to arjuna this weapon must have used occult chemicals which could create illusions in the onlookers senses varunastra with varuna the god of water as the presiding core power varunastra is a volatile weapon which can assume any shape and it discharges torrential volumes of water which can wash away large parts of infantry with its fire extinguishing property varunastra can also be used as a counter weapon to agneyastra or the missile of fire i want all of you to know that besides these eight powerful weapons there are numerous others mentioned in our ancient texts there is no other ancient civilization which has explored weapons technology as much as ancient india now some might say that this is all imagination and fiction but let me remind you that there are detailed step by step descriptions of these extraordinary devices in our ancient texts even if just 10% of it is true it is still an unbelievable achievement even if some say that it is 100% imagination it is still ingenious why because every extraordinary innovation begins with extraordinary imagination if you found this exploration through ancient india as captivating as i did please remember to like subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below until next time keep seeking knowledge and keep exploring ancient india namaste